One more call from the fans. Let's go to Papa Left. Papa Left, what's going on? Yo, Ev Evan Fournier. My question was, you know, you, you spoke on how you came into the league and the Knicks had Melo, Chandler, and Amare. For the majority of your career, the Knicks have pretty much been, you know, a media laughing stock of the NBA. And now with, you know, Tom Thibodeau, Leon Rose, the culture and the perception has changed. I just wanted to know, moving through FIBA, moving through NBA locker rooms, how much is that a real um, tangible thing? Like, how much is that perception of the Knicks being the, the laughing stock of the NBA through the media, if it, that is true, how much of that has changed, um, whether it be in the Magic locker room or whether it be through your own personal relationships in the NBA and obviously with, with Team mm -hmm. France? I kind of disagree with you when you say, you know, the, the Knicks were the laughing stock of the NBA, uh, at least not for us players. Uh, you know, I'd say every year there's like five or six bad teams. Uh, it just happened that when you know you're the Knicks and you're part of those five to six bad teams, you know, the media they talk about you. But I guess it's just a part of, of being such a huge franchise and 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 being a big market. But you know, for for players, we don't necessarily look at that. You know, we still have to come in, play the game, win. Whether you're a bad team or you know a good team, we don't necessarily look down on anyone because we all know you know any night you know you can lose against anybody. And and so. In the locker room, really, it was just, okay, we are playing the Knicks. Uh, they are really good this year, but, you know, we still have to beat them. You know, we still have to show up. And, you know, especially me being, you know, in Orlando for a while, like, we were a bad team as well. So once we, we became pretty good and, you know, we made the playoffs uh, with, 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 with Cliff, there was definitely no sense of, you know, entitlement. Like, oh, okay, we're going to play the Knicks. We're going to win. No, not at all. Uh, you still have to show up. You still have to do your work and, and win. But... I would definitely agree that this year things was different. You know, uh, when the Knicks came in, you knew that they was going to play extremely hard, that they were tough having defense. So everything you know was going to be hard. Everything was going to be contested, and you know you're going to have to earn everything.